All right, so we found an eastern hemlock here. We're in a whole grove of them. This is Tsuga canadensis, eastern hemlock. And it's really quite an easy to identify conifer. Um, as you'll see, the needles are short. Um, in fact, they're shorter than a fingernail in length, right? They're very short compared to a lot of our other conifers. And they're flat, the needles. They're not square like spruces. Um, and they're also very soft. They don't have sharp points on them at all. One of the distinguishing characteristics of hemlock needles, actually, is if you look on the top, along the very top of the twig, you'll see these little teeny needles that are upside down. They rest along the center twig and they're flipped over with the white lines of stomates on the top. So we found a cone of hemlock, Tsuga canadensis. These little small cones, about half an inch long or so, are growing right off the tips of the branches. They have very few scales. They're pendant, um, meaning they hang down. And they start kind of closed and then wind up opening up to release their seeds on the wind. Um, hemlock is a northern species. It really grows much more in the northern forests of Wisconsin, north of the tension zone. It doesn't naturally grow in the south, although it's occasionally planted as an ornamental. Um, you'll notice in the northern parts of the state that it's been declining in its uh, abundance, primarily because of lack of regeneration. Hemlock needs um, old downed logs of old trees upon which the seeds will germinate. So those are called nurse logs. And when you see a big downed tree in a northern forest, you'll often see little hemlock seedlings growing right out of that rotting log. Another problem with hemlock in Wisconsin is overabundant deer. The high deer population um, really ravages hemlock. They love to eat hemlock needles. And you'll notice on this hemlock tree, for example, that it's been browsed heavily all the way up to as high as a deer can reach. And that's the browse line, right, known as the browse line. And if you look through a hemlock forest, you won't see a, any needles below um, the height to which a deer can browse. So deer browse, a combination of deer browse and a lack of old growth. You know, a lot of our forests have been logged repeatedly. We don't have a lot of old trees falling over. Um, and so the, those two things in combination have really uh, harmed the natural regeneration of hemlock in Wisconsin.